Well hi everyone, warm welcome back to the channel. You might remember if you've watched our previous couple of videos we've decided we're not going to spend £35,000 or more on a new caravan. We're going to stay with what we've got at least for now. But one of the things we said we would do is we'd do some upgrades to the van that we've got. And interestingly, uh, some of the things we liked about the new van were some of the features that we don't have which are really cheap and easy to replace. One of them being this. So we're going to get straight into the video. It's about me fitting some new spotlights with USB chargers on them into the caravan. A really quick and easy job. You know, you can do fit one of these in between five and ten minutes. I fitted four in just over an hour with a couple of tea breaks in between as well. So watch the video, it is really quick, and then come back to me because I've got a couple of exciting things I want to tell you about regarding the channel. Right, tools you're going to need for the job, a Phillips screwdriver. This particular one has got one of these magnetic ends on, so if you do drop a screw, uh, well, you don't drop it, that's the idea of it, isn't it? So a, a Phillips screwdriver, got some uh, crimpers that you're going to need, and uh, don't need the wire strippers, but I will need the, the crimpers, and then I've got a, a box of these, and what I need actually are some, a couple of spades, little terminals, to go on the end of the cable. Don't worry, I'm not going mining or anything like that, but uh, I'm gonna just turn the 12 volt off and it's a bit dark. So power's just going off now. There we go. So the spot I'm about to change here at the front is behind this panel here. Now a lot of caravan, caravans do have this where it opens with a little knob on the end. This one doesn't, it's fixed. So I have to get in through the cabinet. So that's the only awkward thing really, is I've got to get in there and that's why I need to be able to put some light on the scene. And hopefully you can see in here that I just need to take this little cover off because that's what's covering uh, the cables that I need to disconnect. So I'll do that first. Right, so I've just taken that cover off. Look, and you can see the hole where the cable comes through and the, the connectors are on these um, spades that are here. So I've just got to unscrew the spot from underneath. Literally just two screws to undo here. And once they're undone, just a case of pulling the cable through. Now, it won't pull through, I don't think, because it'll be tight up here. So I'll quick look. No, actually that will, that'll go through. You have to go one spade at a time. But that'll just pull through there. Just makes it a little bit easier working on the outside if you can just push it through. There we go. And that's what we've got. Just a case of just pulling those spades off. That's it. So that's the old one away now. If you're wondering what the noise is, it's not snowing here in Norfolk, it's raining. But who knows what might happen. Right, here's the new one. Try to take it out of the box one-handed so you can see how it comes. In a little packet. And in the bottom there, two fixing screws to screw it back to the, uh, underneath the cabinets in the caravan. So the design is slightly different on this new spot because the screws, as you can see, they're not visible like the old ones were there. I'll just show you one of the old ones. Bear with. You can see the screws, can't you? Well, in the new one, the screws are not visible because there's a plate on the back that you need to remove. And it's the plate that you attach to the cabinet. And then this slots on a bit like a, a bayonet fitting in an old light bulb, you know, it sort of slots on and and then twists into position. Also notice that the end of the terminals don't come with a, a spade on or a crimp on. So I'm gonna have to do that now, that's the next job. Right, so I've got the, um, I've got the spades on there now. Now you can always tell positive from negative because the positive cable has got this little line on it. But in terms of polarity, and I've checked this already, but whichever way around you connect these, it doesn't make any difference, they work anyway. Now that might not be the same in your van or depending on what spotlights you've got, but these do. So I'm just gonna connect them up. I can't do it holding the camera, it's a bit fiddly. 
Right, so it's connected up. Just do a, a quick check. Yeah, and there it is. That's the switch on. And as I say, these these turn at the back so you can dim them slightly. It's not a massive amount, but it's enough to stop you being blinded because sometimes these can be really bright if they catch you in the face. So that's, uh, that's on full. And then just turn it around a bit. It just dims down. I'll show you when I've attached it back up. The other thing I want to check is that the USB, there's a USB this side and this side. So I'll, I've just got a, some wireless headphones. I'll just plug in and check that's working. So I've plugged the USB in to these uh, Sony wireless headphones we've got and the charging lights come on look. So I know both light and USB is working. So I'm happy to attach that now. Right, we're in, connected, all working. Dimmable bit on the back. So it's got a bit brighter now, as you can see, hopefully there, a little bit dimmer. So it just dims it slightly. The main thing is, USB socket each side, which is brilliant. So we've got that front one done there. I've done the front one here as well. So that's good. And if I just take you over to the bedroom area, we've got one each side here now as well. Again, of the dimmable bit on the back. So we'll be charging all over the place now which is great because we're on 12 volt. Don't forget these are 12 volt, these are not on the mains. So we're gonna do our first little off gridding session this year, only for a couple of nights. But that's gonna help keep the old phones charged and what have you as we, uh, as we do that. So there you go, nice and easy. Just a reminder, Leisure Glow by Parapart, complete with USB, it's the Mensa, dimming directional 12 volt led spotlight and you can fit it well as i've just done there in about five to ten minutes so it's dead easy as i say i got four of these they should have been 22 pounds i think for one and if i bought four the price came down i actually got them on ebay i'll see if i can find the link and i'll put the link below as well so i hope you found that useful i mean really truthfully if i can do that job anyone can do it. A uh, few people have done these on YouTube before. A couple of things to watch out for though is if you are going to disconnect the cable you know uh, from your spotlights just make sure that cable is not going to jump up somewhere into some trunk in out of the way where you'll never see it again and um, I think it was Dan Trudgeon's video that I watched some time ago he got a cable tie and just tied that around the cables before he took the spade off so they didn't jump back up Behind. I was quite lucky actually because you could see that my the, the wiring was easy to access from my perspective so so no issues there right so before you turn off a couple of things I want to tell you about first of all you might have noticed that I'm wearing some new merch that we've had done um, about a month or so ago redesigned the logo for the channel uh, so no longer is the old caravantastic mug valid instead a little link coming up below here which means you can go and access some of this info for yourself. A few people were asking me, how can I get hold of a mug, Dave, uh, or a t-shirt or stuff like that? Well, at the time we didn't have our own online store, which we've now gone and done. Should mention, if you go on there and have a little look around, you want to purchase something, it's all done via a third party. We don't see it, we don't touch it. Uh, they do all the work, they do all the shipping, they do all the printing, and they get it all out to you. Uh, what they do in return is they pay us a, a commission on the work. Now that commission would be really useful for us because what it will do is uh, it will go towards helping us finance a lot of the work that we do. If, if you're a vlogger, if you're a YouTuber, you'll know, you know, camera equipment isn't cheap. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy and a bit of money to put some of this stuff together. So we're not looking to make money really out of YouTube, but anything we can do to help recoup and cover some of our costs, that would be really great. I know a lot of you have commented and said how useful you find um, the channel and the videos, particularly if you're a newbie. So thank you very much indeed for that. So if you want to support us, get hold of a bit of a merch. This is a t-shirt. Actually, I have this one done locally, uh, but I've got some sweatshirts as well here, which you can see. So both Helen and I have got a t-shirt, a sweatshirt each, and uh, oh, Helen was keen to have some some bags, a couple of bags done, little. You know, when we're going around the shows and stuff to carry bits and pieces in. So we've got a couple of those as well. Um, and then we've also got a, a hoodie each too. Now we haven't been gifted these. You know, we've, we've actually 
purchased these ourselves, uh, but it gives you an idea of the sort of quality. In fact, we got these done, oh, I don't know, about a, a week or two ago, and we're really pleased with the quality of these, actually. So feel free to check out if you want to get some merch of ours, <clears throat> it would be really appreciated. And uh, the other thing just to let you know about is we've been <laughs> we have been sent some shoes as well, which is useful for me. Fitville have sent Helen and I a pair of shoes. We've basically been onto their website, chose the ones that we want. Uh, Helen, not so much, but me, I do struggle quite a bit with my feet. Uh, I get lots of pain uh, when I've been walking any long distance, so I do need some good supportive shoes. Now, I have got some really expensive walking shoes. Um, I'm going to do a proper review on these later, folks. So this is not a review now by any stretch of the imagination. But I have got uh, some very expensive Nike Air and some uh, other expensive walking shoes, well over £100 a pair. And uh, I still find that when I've walked any distance, I just don't have... Um, maybe not quite getting the support that I need, you know. Yeah, the complaint I struggle with, it's called plantar fasciitis. Uh, it affects two types of people, really. Uh, mainly uh, athletes, people that do lots of running, walking, um, or you know, where they're using their feet a lot, or people that are perhaps a little bit overweight. To be on the safe side, I've gone and cancelled my gym membership, uh, but I've also got these new shoes from Fitville. So we're going to do a review on these later. Um, have a look out for the, for the uh, video when it comes, because we'll be able to offer you 30% off these shoes. What I like about them is, first of all, they're very spongy here. So I've got lots of cushioning when I put my heel down on the floor. It seems to be really, really well cushioned. Uh, they have arch supports in them as well. And also you can get these in sort of wider, in a wider fit. It don't have to be a wide fit, but you can get a wide fit, which these are for me. So we're going to give these a whirl. As soon as it stops snowing, <laughs> we're going to get out and um, we'll get a pair of these on. I'll just show you how them's really quick. Yeah, just quickly show you Helen's as well. She's she's chose this sort of a nice white and blue number. Same things apply. Uh, really well supported. Um, so we've yet to try them, as you can see, but we're going to give them a whirl in one of our videos soon. We're hoping to get away in the caravan. Well, we should have been away this week, but you know they forecasted 18 hours of snow, which we've had about 18 seconds and it's wet through. So we could have probably gone away. So we're hoping next week we'll get away. And uh, when we go out on one of our walks with Bella, we'll get these on and then we'll do you the, the proper review. They do come in a really nice box. They come with a big leaflet all about foot care as well. You know, how to love your feet, uh, which is brilliant. But more of that later on. For now, folks, if you have been, thank you very much indeed for supporting us and watching the channel. We really appreciate it. If you yet to hit that subscribe button, then do it now. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up. You know and leave a comment we love all the comments we answer every single one they help the channel to grow as it is doing nicely and we have got some fabulous trips lined up for this year we've just booked some something really exciting i can't tell you because helen will kill me but we have booked something very exciting and extremely different for us and i think when you get to see it it will be later in the year you, you might be shocked we'll leave it at that so thanks for watching catch you in the next one bye for now